All right, so this is that peanut tank. Um, peanut tank and uh, rear fender. So I got them all uh, metal flaked silver. And uh, the next thing will be is I'll, oh, I've also got them cleared. So I clear coated them. I'll sand down the clear tomorrow or the next day. And then I'll put a couple more coats of clear on it just to smooth it all out. And, uh, and then we'll start putting the graphics on it. Um, this would be a good one for you guys to watch. Because it's simple. You can do it at home. Doesn't take a lot of material. And uh, you can probably make a little bit of cash doing it. All right. Um, I'll let this thing dry and then I'll move them in. And, uh, and then I'll see you on the next step. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Just to show you guys what I did to uh, silver metal flake this uh, motorcycle tank and rear fender. I started off with the base of this silver. And uh, what I usually do is I go into the paint store and I say, I want the sparkliest, metallic -y silver that you got. I don't care what brand it is or not, not really what brand, but I don't care what make, GM, Ford, Chrysler, whatever. Um, as long as it's sparkly, because all I'm going to do is use it as a base. And uh, in this case, they gave me a GM color. And Nason, Nason's pretty good, and it's reasonably priced. And uh, I've been using it for years, so I trust it. Um, I take some of this uh, full binder after I've got the base on there. And what I did was I mixed uh, three different sizes of metal flake silver in there. This being the uh, larger flake, and then a medium flake, and then an ultra flake. And that ultra flake just kind of fills in the uh, little areas that the big flake and the medium flake don't do. And I, I mix in some of this into some of this binder, and I uh, spray it. And then I clear everything. And what I've done now is I've cleared these once, sanded them, got them smooth, and then cleared them again. Because it takes a, takes several coats of clear to cover up the flake. So that's what I've done. So now what I'll do is I'll 800 sand these wet, and they'll be smooth enough now where I can start putting the uh, tape on there and uh, come up with some kind of a uh, 60s, type design like he wants. He wants metal flake red or uh, candy red over silver metal flake and some panels and some patterns. So we'll end up doing that and uh, I'll show you how I do that. All right, I'll be back. All right, so after I cleared that metal flake silver tank with the uh, three, three or so coats of urethane clear on it, I came back in and I sanded it with uh, 800 or 600, you could use either one, just to smooth it out. And now I'm laying the tape for the uh, graphics. And what I'm gonna do in some of these, I'm gonna put a, like a fish scale. I'll show you how to do that. Maybe some endless lines, um, just whatever I come up with. And then this area here, it's going to be basically candy apple red and I'll probably put a, a dark fade all around these uh, panels and um, but my next step once I got it all taped off and where I'm happy with okay I'm gonna do this and that I have to tape off the last color the last color being the candy apple red so here you see I'm starting to uh, tape off or block off anywhere where it's going to be red all in here right here through this center um, all through here that's all going to stay red so uh, I'll get a little bit further on that and then I'll bring you guys back all right so I got that uh, tank all paneled out and now what I'm doing I'm just kind of fill in in all the different panels some kind of 60s early 70s design type stuff 
I'm gonna do a endless line up here, and then I'll add in a color. Same thing with this down here, it's the, uh, the fist scales. So I'll, I'll do all the black work first, then I'll come in probably with some candy tangerine, and maybe fade around the edge of it with the candy brandy wine or something. And, um, and how I did that was, I just took a piece of uh, model car, uh, one of my hobbies, I build model cars. Hopefully I'll be uploading a bunch of that stuff too. But um, I just took a, one of my boxes. I took one of the tires out of the kit, traced around them, and then I just cut with an X-Acto blade, making, uh, making these shapes here, and then just airbrushing. You know, like that. Very simple. Stuff you can do right in your house. Um, and, I, and I gotta keep saying, I'm, I like what I do, and I do what I do. Uh, it's the only way I know how to do it, so I'm not saying my way is the right way, but this is one way you can get stuff done. So uh, I'll continue on, and then I'll be back. All right, well, as you can see, I uh, chose to um, do uh, this endless line in a candy blue panel and uh, what i did previous was i fogged around the endless line with uh just a light tinted clear with black in it okay and now i've fogged around candy blue and i'm gonna leave some of the silver right here in the center because uh you'll really be able to see the metal flake when it's all cleared and i'm gonna fog this edge either with uh, cobalt blue or maybe some purple okay and uh, that, that should look pretty neat the bike is actually red candy red but he uh, he said do what I feel and this is what I feel so this is where I'm going um, I'm also going to add some color down in here and I'm a little bit on the sides and uh, as soon as I do that I'll bring you back in all right so I went ahead and added some purple around like I said I was going to Added color to this panel here, gold, tangerine, candy brandy wine, and uh, went ahead and started doing the, uh, the panels on the other side, or on the sides of it, I should say. And then I coated everything with uh, two or three coats of um, inner coat clear. Now my next step is going to remove all the tape where it's going to be candy apple red I'll, I'll take all this tape off and then i'll back mask everything that i've painted and uh spray the red when i do that i'll uh i will uh bring you back okie doke all right well there it is all unmasked and uh the next step will be to uh i'm going to lightly scotch bright over the uh, base coat just just very lightly not too heavy because you'll go through the base coat into the color so you don't want to do that everything that's uh still green taped that's going to remain metal flake silver so that's going to stay on until after the uh, red is put on it um i wanted to show you guys the bottom of this tank so I'm going to hang this thing up real quick so I can shoot the bottom and, uh, and I'll bring it right back. All right. Well, there's the bottom of it. And uh, I like doing that bottom because when this tank is back on its chopper frame and you're down low taking pictures of this bike, you'll be able to see that the paint continues all the way under. Just looks really cool and finished. So uh, that was it. I just wanted to show you the bottom. Remember, uh, attention to detail, and uh, people really appreciate it when uh, you uh, do attention to detail on their, their stuff that you're painting for them. All right, just wanted to show you. All right, so now everything has been uh, back masked, all the panels on the uh, tank, and on the rear fender. Now I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to fog around the edges with a black again, and then I'm going to spray the rest of it candy apple red. And uh, she'll be almost done besides clear coating then. Um, little tip, when you mask these off, try to take some of the stickiness off these because we just painted these panels today. So we don't want the, uh, the tape to pull the paint off when we um, remove it. So just be very cautious and, um, and take some of the stickiness off if you can. Just run it across the jean, your, your pant leg or something and pull it a few times and, and try to get some of the stickiness off of it. Um, other than that, just be careful when you unmask. You know, things are gonna happen. So if you do pull some paint off, there's always a way to fix it. Don't, don't fret. And uh, I'm gonna put some red on this and, and I'll be back.